Hello. Today, Mr. Hani is with us and he will be telling us about the Certified in Cybersecurity exam. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Hani. How are you? I'm doing fine. How is your day going? Alhamdulillah. It is fine here too. Good so to can, you please, yeah, can you please tell me what is the Certified in Cybersecurity exam by the IS Secure? So, uh, um, Certified in Cybersecurity is an exam that is offered uh, from ISC2. It's uh, free till the end of December. After end of December this year, it will be offered at the price of $200. There are no offers around the world for ISC2. Not like Comtea, they have some offers around the world. Uh, if you are located in a third world uh, country, you can get uh, Security Plus uh, as low as $300, where it costs about $800 or $700, I can't really remember. But yeah, the cost uh, for, for uh, if you are living in first wallet country or second one, uh, it would be very good for you as a beginner. And only spending $200 on a certificate, it's pretty good to be certified from a place like ISC2. Okay, that's nice. So can you please tell me which domains does it focus on? like penetration testing or defensive side uh it's it's neither of both actually it's 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 a very beginner as i said a uh, very beginner uh, certificate uh it's it's aimed at the people who was he is not familiar with anything related to uh cyber security there there are four, five domains that are uh, contained in this uh, uh certified in cyber security course uh, it's, which are uh, security principles, uh, business continu continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response concepts. There are access control concepts. There are network security and security operations. Okay, that's nice. Then uh, I want to ask about what is the pattern of the exam? And is it practical or theoretical? Uh, it's, it's a bit of the both walls, to be honest, uh, in terms of, uh, you are getting the self-study, uh, from ISC2, you realize that you have to have a concept with everything you understand. You have to like connect everything together. Uh, like, uh, if I'm using a DLP, uh, which is data loss prevention, uh, why would I use it? Where would I use it? When would I use it? How would I use it? Right, but it's, it's, it's not a, a, a how in a um, practical way, in just a theoretical way. So it's it's a bit of both worlds, but it's for theoretical uh, world more like ninety percent of the exam, or let's say yeah, ninety percent of the exam is theoretical. What should I learn, and from where should I learn uh, uh, its uh, training material and stuff like that? Uh, that's a very good question. I get this question a lot, actually, in my DMs. Um, I think where you should start, uh, you will get, uh, as I said, it's a free uh, till the end of December. The study, uh, the self-study online-paced um, course is also free. So you are getting both the course and the self-study. Uh, I would suggest going through the self-study. If you are really a beginner with no experience in IT or um, or even in, in, in like cybersecurity, I suggest you can at least spend uh, um, about about a month uh, to prepare for it, just to understand everything, the concepts uh, and why and what and where and how. Uh, if you are uh, if you are doing some uh, try hack me hack the box uh, anything that is related uh, to that uh, experience of cybersecurity, I would highly say that you will only take about two weeks. For me, I did security plus fence plus uh, before getting it. So I when I went for the exam, I didn't really study. I just remember the glossary from Security Plus, and this is like a smaller version of Security Plus, but in a very condensed way. So it means if I am a beginner and I want to study and I want to prepare for my uh, for myself, uh, at, uh, 
then I have to give just one month uh, to pass it. Yeah, Am I right? right? True. So, moving forward, the next question: uh, Are there any better alternatives? Uh, I think at this price, uh, no. But at the practical price of it, uh, EJBT from eLearning Security, which is a junior penetration tester. Uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty good certificate too. It's about two hundred dollars from INE, uh, but it's, it's toward the red team. You can't really uh, you can't really get it unless you go through the labs and the lessons, which are actually free uh, if you want to get it. Uh, but in the theoretical exams, I would say being certified from ISC two really uh, uh, gives you a huge benefit because it's a big community uh, of professionals in cybersecurity. Uh, if you're aiming to the management management level or like getting your feet wet with everything theoretical to cybersecurity, I suggest you go for it. Okay, what are your final words about this exam and uh, about this certification? One more question is that how much time daily is required to uh, prepare for this exam? If I am a beginner. As you told that, uh, as you told me previously, it took it will took a uh, one month for a beginner to prepare for it. True. So, how many time, uh, how many uh, hours in a short uh, uh, required to start this? Hmm, that's a very good question. Um, I can't really decide how many hours you should do per day, but I think six to four hours per day will most likely do the job. Uh, if you are doing four to six uh, hours, I think you can get to the course pretty fast. Uh, you can get everything you need. You can, uh, again, revise everything during this period of month. Uh, you can go through the tests. You can go through the final tests. Uh, then you can go and sh sh schedule your exam and, and, and you'll do much fine and you'll pass. I guarantee they you that. So that's pretty good. So what are your final words about this exam? Uh, my final words about this exam is that you should go for it for now. It's free uh, till the December end of this year. And you get, you can also take a retake exam if you fail the first one. Although I think you should not fail this exam because it's a really beginner level. If you are beginner level, it's, just, it's okay to fail. It's really okay. Server security is all about success and failures. It's not about all successes. But for me, I uh, when I went to the test, I didn't study for it. Why didn't I study for it? Because I studied Security Plus. And what made me not study for it? Because when I uh, went through the domains uh, and went through uh, the exam, I would highly recommend that you really pay an, a close eye um, to the glossary that is mentioned in every uh, domain and really get the concept of why would you use uh, a protocol? When will you use it? Uh, also memorize the important ports like uh, like the DNS, which is 53 UDP, uh, 22 SSH, uh, 21, which is uh, FTP, uh, 23 Telnet. Just get around the networking and everything and you will, you will be fine to go. And I really recommend that you go until the end, the end of this year because it's for free and it's like 200 bucks. Some people can't really get those 200 bucks for free like that from a big company like ISC2, uh, which is a, a really big company. Cybersecurity, they got the CISSP and CCSP, which is, is really, uh, which are really two great courses in the cybersecurity and very, very popular and demanded in the jobs. You can see them pretty often every, on every job post and or, or, or in every, every management uh, uh, roles that is, uh, you'll, you'll see people getting CISP left and right. So yeah, this is a very big uh, company and you should invest your time for at least a month uh, dedicate your time. You'll get uh, you'll get a pretty uh, big benefit out of it, and you'll learn a lot before you. Even if you're trying to get to the security plus, you can go for the CC first. Get yourself comfortable. Get your feet wet with everything theoretical, and then you can go to security plus, having enough confidence to uh, get 
to know all the materials because security plus materials is a lot and everybody who's trying to get cc nowadays he is also trying to get security plus security plus is hard it's not easy uh, it's a very challenging exam and you should understand everything because everything that comes into security plus and cc it's about theories it's about scenarios it's about what will you do when where how and what ports and this that's uh, a part of networking also what protocols would we use why would you use the protocol when would we use it how would we use it and everything related to that so can we get any uh, exam done uh i think the exams are that are even offered in the self space are not really uh that related to the final exam as i said you have to understand everything and what's going on and why is it going that way like if you uh, i gave the example of a dlp and why would you use it a, a dlp when will we use it why would you use it um so you have to uh, absorb every concept in your head and truly know why why will it be used in that situation or when would be used so yeah but uh, in the self study itself a lot of people said uh, the exams are the, in the self study they are not really related to the exam itself it's not on the same level of uh, difficulty uh, for me i tried one of them to be honest the first one i got i got like <laughs> 69% or 80 is uh, 68% out of 100 but in the exam i knew i could do it because uh, every domain has its own uh, exam so every domain and its own exam it really depends on one domain so yeah uh, don't really focus too much on the uh, exams in the self study guide itself just focus on the glossary and the when and why and what and how of every protocol and concept you're going to use. So it means that the stuff given uh, on the ISC Secure website is uh, enough to prepare for the exam, right? Yeah, it's not to prepare. Yeah, the, the course itself, not that. The test itself is it's not really... Some people think that if you get a test on the uh, study self-guide or self-study guide, uh, you are going to have the same questions or same type of theory or, or same type of mentality. And that's what's not going on in the ISC2 community, even in CISSP and CCSP. You are not going to get uh, some questions that you memorize. It's not about memorizing. It's about understanding everything. Like how, why, with, when, where, and yeah, and so on. And... Uh... Any recommend uh, recommendations for a complete beginner and uh, uh, a person having a non-IT background? Yeah, it's actually CC. Uh, CC is, uh, I think it, it's a, a really uh, beginner-friendly uh, certificate that you can get your feet wet with even uh, just IT, not cybersecurity uh, as an entire because uh, you'll get to know a lot of protocols that are used uh, a lot of network as a network administrator or a system administrator, you will know some concepts that we, you will use in your daily job. That's pretty good. So, and uh, thanks, Hany, for your time and uh, for your precious word. Thanks really you. Appreciate it. Thanks you for this interview. Um, I was happy to talk about it because a lot of people come to my DMs and ask everything about CC. How can I? Uh, go for CC. What did you prepare for it? Some people actually ask me for dumps, and what I say about dumps are it's are illegal, it's uh, it's, it's unethical, uh, immoral. You don't need them in the, your CC exam. Every role you're gonna to, to be applying on for the jobs, don't try to cheat your way out of studying. Cybersecurity is all about passion and understanding, and passion and understanding. You have to be persistent with with your molars, your ethics, because this is going for a very long time. You'll have to study a lot. You're not going to uh, just stop at the CC, which is 
short file from cybersecurity, it will be the start of your journey. You'll have to get like security plus, uh, CYSA plus, uh, depending on if you are on the red team or blue team, you'll have different paths. But getting the basic uh, understanding of everything, like in networking and concepts and protocols, that's the very important thing because everything is built on it, not under it. Got it. Thanks uh, for your precious words and for your advices. Uh, that's it. And uh, thanks for your again. Thanks for your time. Uh, okay, uh, um, guys. Uh, Hani represented in a very beautiful way, and uh, he told many things about the certified in cybersecurity exam. So hope you will uh, absorb all these advices uh, and these lines. Uh, he told you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more interesting and informative videos. Okay, bye.